Hi, uh, I'm Yong L. I'm a photographer and digital imaging artist from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So today I'll be sharing your tips and tricks about creating a moon inside Adobe Photoshop by using Clipping Mask 2. Okay, so the first step is to download a stock photo of the moon from NASA website or you can even buy the photos from Adobe Stock. Okay, so for the first step, we'll create a circular shape layer on top of the fishbowl and I'll fill it in with white color and I have to make sure the shape matches the fishbowl so that I can add a moon photo on top of it. The next step is to create a new layer on top of the circle. And now we are going to place the moon inside the layer. I make sure the clipping mask moon is on top of the circular shape layer. And I just right click and I create clipping mask. The moon will automatically be bounded inside the circular shape here. Okay, I'll move it and I'll try to match it as close as possible to the shape layer. Next, I'll be adding another two layers on top of the moon for light and shadow. Okay, so I added the light and shadow layer on top of the clipping mask moon layer and I'll set my brush size so I can paint in the light part and the shadow part near the hand. So I'll set the blending mode to overlay and I'll be brushing in the glowing part inside the moon. Okay, so after brushing in the light and shadow, the last thing is to actually have a glowing effect outside of the moon. So now I'll go to the layer style and I'll go to outer glow and I'll be adjusting the opacity and noise to match the photo behind and I'll get the colors from the moon so after I set everything I'll just click OK and go with it so that's it the final moon you can see that it looks kinda real and I hope this tutorial is easy to follow and you can create a moon for yourself mm -hmm.